and gentlemen, welcome in. It is Wednesday night. It is time for another episode of Barbershop Royale, the world's first and only barbershop quartet-based regional representative digital online game show <laughs> reality show. Yeah! Yay! Words. <laughs> and probably the only place on Facebook you can see the event we're going to be showing tonight. Oh, absolutely. That's, oh, That's guaranteed. Guaranteed. Probably. Probably. We have yeah. some awesome stuff planned for you tonight, but before we do, we got to catch up on what happened last time. Take it away, Todd. Yeah, so last week we had our, our opportunity to get to know each of the quartets. It was not an elimination <laughs> round. Instead, your votes determined who received immunity this week. There were incredible performances and incredibly charming moments from all people, including, if I'm not mistaken, a performance about a lion dressed as a tiger by a guy named Bear. <laughs> that sounds about right. Is that right? Did I have that right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, if you didn't see that, go check it out on our YouTube channel or, or uh, elsewhere in our Facebook news feed. But we're pleased to, to remind you that the quartet that won immunity for this week, based on your votes from their absolutely breathtaking performance, was Ripple Effect. Woo! Ripple Effect. I actually, I'm thinking about Woo! programming that chart for my choir. I liked it so That's much. That's a great chart. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, okay. <clears throat> for sure. Was it Barbershop? Eh. Uh, <laughs> hey, come on now. All right, this so, is Barbershop hey, Royale. So what do we got so, for tonight, Jude? Tonight we have, uh, you know, um, totally the same type of thing in that we're not doing any barbershop at all, and it's an egg and spoon race. <laughs> so uh, a few weeks ago, we reached out to all the quartets, and we said, hey, so we need footage of you guys running a, a race but you have to hold an egg in a spoon and good luck getting to the finish line. And they had so many questions. I like, so many make, questions. They had so many questions. <laughs> like, like, and we won't even get to it because I'm sure you'll see some of the results of those questions tonight, but um, something about sporks. I don't know. We're going to get to it. It's but anyway, only the little tip at the very end. <laughs> it's just the little, the, the little things at the end. Anyway, it's the okay, same so, kind of thing. So you, you are about to experience the egg and spoon race of a lifetime. Um, and for some reason, we're doing it with barbershop quartets. So there you go. <laughs> and so, and go ahead. Do you want me to uh, say yep. about voting right yep. now, Steve? Excellent. Unlike last week where we voted for eliminations, this week there's no voting because the results of this week are completely objective. It's just the actual times that the quartets get for their relay race. So... There's no need to log on for a vote of any kind, but we'll be back to voting as far as that next week. This week, the top winner is not somehow special other than they get an, uh, they get uh, immunity next week. That's all. Absolutely. So I hope you guys are ready. We've got a lot to show you, so we aren't going to spend a ton of time chitty-chatting here. We are going to get right into it. The way that this is going to work, uh, obviously we have nine quartets. Each quartet has four members. Or, so we have broken it into eight different heats. So there will be two heats for tenors, two heats for leads, two heats for baritones, and two heats for basses. So can you, you, can, you, can you go over how many members each quartet has one more time? I, I believe that's... Wait... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, going, I can't going, remember. <laughs> anyway. We should so, probably tell them again. Four. Four members. Four. Got there it. are four members. So anyway, the um uh we're gonna get started <laughs> with uh <laughs> my part. We're gonna start with our tenors. We'll let them in you'll get to see them introduce themselves and uh you will get to see the race and uh let's take it away with our first set. You see, it's really all about teamwork. It's about all that you've done to prepare and how hard you've worked. And we're ready for this, aren't we? This is gonna be the best race of our careers. I am one with the spoon. 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 <laughs> Ich hoffe echt, dass das mit dem achten Monat so gut klappt. Ich habe mich super vorbereitet. Ich fühle mich heute fit. Aber mal schauen, wie das alles so funktioniert. Ich bin gespannt. Ich war eigentlich gut, aber dann sah ich, wie weit ich 
How do you think you're gonna do? What time do you think you're gonna get? I don't even know what a baseline is. How fast could I do this just running? I really don't know the answer to that. I feel nervous. More nervous than I've ever felt before. This is the epitome of my existence. I swear. The entire barbershop community rests on me. On me being able to do this spoon race. And I don't know if I'm prepared. What could you have done to prepare yourself better for this? I don't know. Taking some Xanax? Taking some Advil? Gone to sleep? Not had? an entire medium Tim Hortons coffee before I did this race because I'm a little chicken. <gasps> shaking the entire time. So many times I thought it was gonna fall off, but I made it. Slow and steady wins the race. Thank you, thank you, good night, America. Well, we had to pull in our second string at the 10th hour, but I think all that hard work really paid off. There we go, and there is our first tenor heat. <laughs> Guys, I can't believe we made a game show out of this. <laughs> now, <laughs> What does this have to do oh. with barbershop quartetting, you may ask? The answer Teamwork. is nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. That's why this is the greatest barbershop quartet-based reality show of all time. I, I have never seen, in my entire life of doing this, I've never seen a tenor get to rehearsal as fast as those tenors were trying to get to the finish line. Oh, hey now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! You know what? I wish we could say that there were that you know not to be alarmed. There there were no eggs harmed in the filming of of that, but there clearly was egg damage. Going there was on, definitely clearly. some oh, egg damage. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Just brutal. Some, <laughs> brutal some of these videos. Treatment. Some of these eggs didn't make it. <laughs> All right. Well, not to be outdone, the other five quartets they got to do their tenors too. Right now, we only have the standings aren't even set because you know there's a five way tie for fifth place. Here we go. Let's get the next set of tenors. Ready, guys? Here they come. Go. Do it. So uh, we got the spoon race coming up here. Uh, it's going to be a little difficult with all of the heat. I, I got excited when I first heard about race, and then someone said something about run. And I get the runs, but, I, but I'm not so sure about, you know, running a race. I'm about to go and do the 100-meter egg challenge spoon in my mouth thing and yeah i'm gonna crush it it's uh matt and brandon we are the tenor and baritone of trademark and we are here just uh getting warmed up for this egg race yeah which we've been anticipating for some time old english legend tells of a magnificent foursome who rode from the west to take part in the famous barbershop royale egg and spoon race it's an event steeped in history, a tradition that began during the years of the Black Plague, when people were looking for things to do. I, I, I'm, I'm just, I may be too far along to run, a run. See, I can't even say it without getting emotionally distraught. Oh, it's just, it's bad. I'm not gonna drop my egg, and my girls better not drop their eggs, or I'd be very upset. The, the slow people, including myself, is gonna be a great 
great day and it's going to be very interesting. Go to yes. I think 100 meters is going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's not like running four miles is easy anyways. But yeah, let's uh, let's do this thing. Lancelot will go first. Followed closely by Galahad. It's Galahad. King Arthur will run the anchor leg. And what magic has Mervyn cooked up? And away we go. Eat my dust, Mervyn. It's Mervyn! <gasps> he turned him into a cabbage. Again. Sorry. And so the Aristocrats Barbershop Royale campaign was over before it began. Uh, okay. So I guess they're not gonna run the egg race. That would make sense, Steve. Cabbages can't run. Uh, uh, it's true. true. I, guys, I, I hate to be the one to bring this up, but I think I, I think this automatically disqualifies them. I mean, we clearly state that they that they have to be a quartet, a registered quartet with one of the societies. And all that means all four members have to be members of one of the societies. Does it say they have to be humans anywhere? Though? No, yeah, I mean, but everyone in harmony. Come on. That doesn't include cabbage, at least not yet. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Okay. Mm, well, somebody better get people, Marty Monson not, on the phone and update that, I guess. People, not roughage. Ugh. Okay, well, I guess thanks for being part of the show, guys. We'll yeah, we'll see you on the stage. Man, they were funny. They were amazing. Oh, all right. Well, bye, aristocrats. Try not to get cooked or pickled. Sorry, everyone. Best of luck to all the barbershop royale quartets. Good luck. Good luck. Uh... Farewell, and best wishes to all, from the aristocrats. Are we just going to leave them there? All right, that's it for the aristocrats, but we still have the rest of the race to go. We may have a quartet already eliminated, but that doesn't mean the rest of them aren't still playing for that immunity spot for next week. So we still got to run these races. So here we go. Taking it away. Tenor heat number two. Woo. Steady wins the race. I was slow, so I was halfway there. But uh, yeah, felt really good about it. I, uh, I, I, I'm thinking about taking up running. Never. Yeah. Second. I definitely feel some wind, like a headwind there. Yeah. Did not feel great about halfway through. I started tighten up, but I feel like I put on a pretty good time. It's gonna be hard to beat for sure. Yeah. Egg was like that for half of the run. I was just like, it's going off. It's going off. Like, no, egg buddy. I was having a heart attack. <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. Isaac from Daily Holy Special. Isaac. Yeah, Isaac. Crushing it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Impressive. Crushing it.
Sorry, I had to check out for a second. 17 there, seconds. It's really flat. undermining my vote inside the fastest voice part. <laughs> if if I had to if I had to guess based on sheer trash talk alone, I was downright <laughs> intimidated by Caitlin from Say La Vie. Oh, I mean, God, her trash yeah. talk was like I, I was shaking over here watching her go, man, she came that 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 woman came to came to run. Yeah. Uh, but apparently Isaac, damn. Uh, apparently I, I don't know if we weren't clear on the directions, but did you see that she had the spoon in her in mouth? Her mouth. In, the, in the yeah. mouth, yeah. She did it the traditional way. That's what I would have assumed, too. That's what I, also, what I would have assumed as well. Interesting. Okay, well I, well, I guess we'll find out if the rest of the quartet did it that way, too. Uh, I mean, that, that Sorry, that's really un really unfortunate <laughs> about the aristocrats, but but man, Daily Special, if if the other three in Daily Special are even half as fast as uh, as Isaac, I mean, look out, world. There, there's know. no stopping them. Well, half as fast? Oh, oh, half, yeah. yeah, if they, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that, right? yeah, that works. Do the math. Just do the math, okay? I don't, I teach music. Like, it's also okay. not, that's not the first time I've heard Rick Taylor talk about having the runs. Just saying. <laughs> Todd? We yeah. didn't need that. Okay. <laughs> well, we all got it anyway. All right, here we go. It was Rick's okay. joke. Moving, moving on. We got to do our first heat of leads. Let's see if the leads can, uh, can keep up with what the tenors did. Here we go. Go, leads. <laughs> it's ready, Aaron. <laughs> you, know, you know, we're a new quartet, so it's hard to tell how we will do. We don't know what we're capable of yet, but we got a lot of heart. Hopefully that's enough to carry us through this round. Here we are at the park by my house, which is the best thing I could find to do this at. And I got my spoon and my egg. Honestly, it has made me feel good to like watch everybody else go. Because, you know, this is not a normal human task. Uh, nervous? Um, I haven't held a spoon um, and an egg for a really long time. It's been many years, but I think I can do I mean, it's church backyard, I think, is the last time that I did this. I can honestly say I've never done an egg and spoon race, ever. So this is my first time doing it, so I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm hopeful. Like, this is not a thing that I practice for, so why should I feel pressure to, like, be good at it? Lila, I love you. My little two-month-old. you can oh. and we're very proud of you of well that went a lot better than I thought I didn't even drop the egg and I had an extra one just in case in my hand in case I needed to go back but I did it with one the whole time and I'm really proud of myself so woo go me it felt great I just focused on my egg friend and like in this situation I feel stressed Imagine how this little homie's feeling right now. We had a good run. Really pulled through at the end. I think at the end of the day, we're all winners. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, oh Incredible. boy. Incredible. <laughs> Stress tags. Oh. I'm sorry. Incredible. Uh, you know what? I, I got to give Chad credit for for knowing how to manage his own, you know, his own mental state in this. I mean, you you got to respect the self awareness. And 
supreme respect for the level of preparation to come prepared with a second egg. Oh, you got to have right? a second egg. You have to and have hey, a second egg, Todd. Even, come on. Even with the spoon in the mouth, they still managed to jump from eighth a, to sixth just now. Sixth. Yep. A solid third place finish yeah. there, given, given a little bit of a margin to the fourth place there. Good job, <laughs> Ripple Effect. You sang great last week. <laughs> Todd. 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 Just what? <laughs> oh, come on now. Oh, hey, Todd. Oh, hey. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Lead power. Lead, lead, lead power and other way uh, okay and we got to see some more leads i mean all i care about is the leads i'm just that's what that's what i'm saying and so steve i want you to queue up the next leads so true and i want to see more leads even though i've already seen chad um hi chad uh <laughs> but let's go ahead and see some more leads that's all i'm saying okay lead time here we go heat two of the leads I am going to be doing the egg race challenge in my work uniform. And since I'm working from home, my work uniform is ready for video conferencing on top, party on bottom. So nobody needs to know what's going on. Uh, I like to run. And, 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 I, and I like eggs. Uh, my family eats eggs all the time. So, so I'm in my element. Yeah. Uh, my knee is not squishy yet but it may become squishy. I don't know the last time I ran three blocks or the last time I ran it all with an egg. Hi, ich habe mich mega vorbereitet und ich weiß, wir werden gewinnen. But we saw a dragonfly. We got pretty close to our camera, so you might you might see that in the footage. Uh, and that's, that's good luck. So I'm gonna think about that dragonfly and not about my knee. Um, I'm gonna be using this trusty soup spoon, um, or I guess just regular spoon for the egg race, and I think I'm gonna do really well, one, because I'm very good at things, and two, because I'm the lead, so I, I think that I'm good at things as well, so. You know, speed is not necessarily my strong suit. I, uh, I guess my strong suit would be uh, singing, but that's not really what this is about. So, all totaled, I, I think I did pretty well. It's about 95 degrees here in Winston Salem, North Carolina, and I'm in a long shirt and ties, so it's fine. It's, it's good. Uh, hold on, I got a call. Ken, yes, Kendall. I don't care. Just get, just get it done. I need the papers. I need the papers on my desk by the end of business today. The actual race was a blur. I don't remember it. I remember crossing the finish line and then dropping the egg. And my knee is a little squishy, but not as bad as it could be. So I'm going to go with a success. Thanks, Dragonfly. <laughs> yeah! You missed it! <laughs> there you have it, folks. The leads. <laughs> So great. A button-down shirt and a tie. It, I mean... Uh, it's, it's the headset. Tie. It really is yeah. the headset that yeah. made it. Yeah, and also he had the best line for me of, uh, I'm the lead, so I think I'm good at things. I mean, that, that stole the show. <laughs> <laughs> so great. So great. So great. Guys, I'm glad your knees are still good. <laughs> How would your knees be after a run like that, Jude? Worse. <laughs> <laughs> so... So quick interlude here. I got to tell you. So assembling all of this stuff, I, what you're seeing here is probably maybe 5% of the amount of footage that I actually got sent. Uh, oh, yeah. I At some point, if I have some time, I'll have to do like a bloopers video or something. Bloopers, some of the stuff that there didn't make it oh, my God. Was, uh, was fantastic as well. But hey, that last one, man, Melanie, she was killing it. She, uh, yeah. what was it, 19 seconds or something like that? Hold Crazy. On. I've got it written down. That's almost down. an Isaac time. Yeah, it's almost Isaac. 
1.48 seconds. Woo! We've got two sub 20 second times now. Now, if the if the entertainment value these quartets are bringing to this show is any indication of what they do in their performances, I don't oh, understand how anybody watching oh this doesn't God. hire every one of them for every single <laughs> show. But we know who to go to. Also, you know, all nine of these quartets are expert egg and spoon racers. So if you need a barbershop quartet for that too, look no further than you never knew you wanted it until now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I, I always I consistently find myself in a position where i need eggs to be moved in very inconvenient ways by musicians like i but I, quickly you don't have quickly, a carton yes. with you but you have to move it with musicians right right exactly yeah. all the time non-union of course do you guys think, you guys think <laughs> we should have made them sing while they were running some of them did they can't they well, can't do that while they they're did it the original the way with the mouth. mouth you can't yeah <laughs> Next week on Barbershop Royale. <laughs> All right, we we got to move on to to my yeah. uh, to my other part in other quartets. Todd, you want to introduce these ones? Uh, it's the baritones. Can you turn up the volume a little bit? I mean. <laughs> oh. All right, here we go. Listen, I, I can tell you this much. They may not be the fastest. We'll find out in a minute. They might be, but they but even if they're not, you know for sure they're gonna be the most accurate at running down the lane. I guess we'll see. Here well, we go. We can see. For this egg and spoon race, I think we're gonna crush it. But we're probably gonna struggle really hard. But I'm optimistic. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here's my strategy, Deb. All right. First, I'm gonna run fast in the beginning, and then, and then I'm also, and then the middle is gonna run fast. Karma has now revealed to the world the most effective way to get a baritone from point A to point B. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know if we're going to try a ton. They've, they've shared the secret. Listen, if you guys wanted to do that, I'm down. That sounds like a that sounds like I'm the winner in that case. It also apparently broke my brain when I was editing that video. <laughs> Sorry about that, Carl. You were supposed to be inside that little frame, not spread all over the screen. <laughs> On the flip oh. side, probably a little difficult if you haven't been paying close attention, but that heat really changed up the placings quite a bit. Oh, yeah. So unfortunately, Full of It dropped down to sixth, but uh, Karma went from fourth to, uh, fifth up to fourth, and Taylor made, made a big old jump from jump. sixth all the way up to third. Anything could happen. Now, that said, Daily Special is still in the lead with an average of 20.7 seconds. Hot second is pretty oh, close a, behind him, a, the 24.66. It might still, depending on Kai, how Kai, things do go. do not let us down. The bases need. <laughs> so we will see how this no, goes. No pressure, Kai. You guys ready for uh, baritone heat number two? Let's do it. Oh, I'm let's do it. Ready. Ready. Oh. Here we go. I'm ready. I feel like I was born for today. Uh, I'm gonna crush the opponents, and uh, we're gonna win it for the team. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, looks a lot longer than you think 100 meters is, but I think it's gonna be a fun challenge. Feeling ready, feeling pumped. Uh, been pre prepping for this for about a day. Yeah, man, I've been really getting into it. I've been training pretty hard. Uh, working on my uh, my steady beat, that egg, just where it needs to be. You know, make a beeline for the finish line, you know what I'm saying? so oh, many puns to make man oh. oh they made them all that they <laughs> i had to edit that down to just two or three of their egg puns out of the <laughs> 10 minutes worth of egg puns that they gave me <laughs> that's the blooper reel that is it that's the blooper yeah reel. just all the egg puns that's all you need <laughs> I wish we could get bonus points for really slick product placement too. the the trademark merchandise uh, showing up in the video. Way to go, trademark. We can do what we hey, want. Speaking like, of speaking of product placement, we should mention that each quartet is a charity. We should talk about that for a second. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. So so while we they're not on the screen telling you what their charities are this week, and and that's okay. But each of these quartets has been frequently posting about the charities that they're 
they're fundraising for on their pages. And, you know, get, go ahead and go give them a like on Facebook because each of these quartets has a, has a great charity that they're fundraising for. So there's your little bit of product placement for the day. Um, <laughs> but this isn't all fun and games, friends. <laughs> but I, it is fun games. It is. Yeah, yeah. it is. It is. Yeah, yeah. Not all, <laughs> but most of it. I, I guess. Most, I guess. Most of it. You know, most of it. <laughs> all right. Well, let's see. Uh, what do we have that? to do bases now? Yeah, we, we got to do, do bases. Of course, we do bases, but yeah, it's gonna be now, amazing. That Don't said, worry. I, I think most of the other quartets would have a long, long way to go. I, I'm, I'm not sure if they're gonna be be able to make up the difference between our top two right now. I, it seems mm -hmm. to have narrowed Hi. its way down to Hi. daily special, which has a currently has an average of. What is it? I got to read the screen. 20.29 seconds and hot second is 23.27 uh, seconds. So They're hot in second. Oh. If hot seconds mm. base hot. runs real quick and Kai runs real slow for daily special. It could happen. It could happen. Hot, base has, it could hot happen. second base has a name. His name is Gabriel. He does. Yes. Sorry. It wasn't anyway. in my head right there at that moment when I was speaking the sentence. So thank you okay. for bailing me out, okay. Jude. <laughs> we love all of our friends. <laughs> all right. So let us get down to it. We've got no cabbage, not lettuce. Oh, so cabbage, oh. get us get down to it with base heat number one. I'm ready. I feel like I was born for today. Uh, I'm going to crush the opponents and uh, we're going to win it for the team. Whoops, that was baritone heat number one. I'm sorry, let's actually try this for real. Base heat number one. Decided to be doing the egg race today, uh, wearing my work attire. Uh, I think I'm ready. Um, I'll at least be faster than Jonah. So that, that'll be good. Uh, ordinarily, I'd be pretty good, but I kind of brought the wrong footwear with me because I dressed for a different occasion. Uh. A little scary. And I think I'm going to be doing great. I've been uh, working out, getting ready for the big egg race. And I'm going to be taking a special formula today to uh, give me extra energy. Uh, I still think I'm going to do pretty well. I'm very well practiced at that. Looking at running in heels. Uh, but we'll see. Hopefully I don't roll an ankle. nothing um, <laughs> except a couple stretches and uh, I had a long drive tonight so I feel like that put me in the headspace to be ready to run this. As a pharmacist, I have all the skills for making a special potion to make me extra powerful in all of these races. Oh that burns! Oh that burns! About the run. I mean, it is a thing that happens. That I can say for certain. Um, I may have ripped part of my uh, <laughs> outfit and I will not be showing you. I'm so happy right now, you know. I put my mind to it and I just thought about that finish line and I knew my pals were waiting for me. And finish line. I just feel so good. I could just. Easily wow. the closest heat we've had yet. Oh, by far. Yeah, that was, that was intense. That was oh, great. First of all, I was like, I'm dying over here waiting for the results of that one.
Wow. So, I mean, we were just talking about how close Hot Second and Daily Special were, and then, then Gabriel came out in those heels, and I was like, oh, well, I guess that's not going to – Guess that's not going to work out too well. And then he flew in those Boom. things. Boom! Lord, it. Boom! <laughs> Wardrobe malfunction and L and everything nailed it anyway. Nailed well, it. will that also be in the bloopers? I I, hmm. I don't think I got footage of that either. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't send me those camera shots. There's um, nothing in the rules that you can't bring a mortar and pestle to this race, right? That that was fine. We're good with that. Uh, we've we apparently been it. okay with all kinds of Great. things in this race. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't give any yeah. rules. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, we're going to take this moment to to say that uh, somehow, miraculously, this ragtag group of four guys got a sponsor. So <laughs> after our first episode, we got contacted by, by uh, a company that has sponsored episode three so episode three of our show is sponsored by i'm not kidding sweetie b bakes which is a granola company run by miss jen crowley and or crowley i've heard it pronounced both ways i should check with jen so um i'm gonna put a link in the chat and everyone go check out uh, sweetie b bakes they're uh it's a pretty cool looking granola company and uh we can announce now that the upcoming winner of episode three that's next time will be receiving a small prize uh, from this company. And that's a pretty cool thing. So I guess I should also say, if your company is interested in sponsoring an episode <laughs> of Destinations Barbershop Royale, please reach out to us because apparently that's a thing. It could work. It's really cool. And everyone check out the chat. Uh, for and they would, they would reach us at? They would reach us at destinationbarbershop <laughs> at gmail.com or you can send a message directly, I believe, directly on this video, um, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, Facebook can also uh, send us a message. Facebook very or our quickly. website, destinationquartet.com. We got all of that stuff. While, while we're doing shameless plugs, I got to tell you that Gabriel said that that footage of the wardrobe malfunction is available, but you have to sub you have to subscribe to his OnlyFans. To, to oh. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, not in a billion years did I think that a live chat of this event would bring up only. I mean, this is great. This just rounds out the whole night for me. This is fantastic. <laughs> Chad, well, Chad says we sold out. Chad, Chad. You know, sold out. You might you, get some granola you, out of this, Chad. You might get granola. Yeah, How is it, Chad? <laughs> And as far as shameless plugs go, I'll take this time to also say that if you have somebody who missed this broadcast live and wants mm -hmm. to watch it, these videos are uploaded to our YouTube channel, where I would encourage you to like and subscribe with a bell icon to make sure you get notified of future destination videos that are uploaded. No matter who you are, if you're on this feed or not, hit that bell icon, make sure you're subscribed so you get all of our notifications of future videos. Well, we... Uh... We have got one more heat to run here, and it's Versus. yeah. I, I mean, Gabriel brought the heat just now, so that, they that are was, real close at this point. Kai is gonna need to go pretty quick. Uh, he needs to, if I did the math right, he needs to run it in under thirty-four seconds for them to but hold I, on to the lead. If he I runs, think this might be the fastest voice part, guys. Just throwing it out there. If he runs slower than that then Hot Second might take it. We are about to find out. Here we go with our final heat of the evening, base heat number two. You think you can get to me, right? You're trying to egg me on? Well, guess what? It's not going to work. The yoke's on you. Because not only are we heavier, but we're slower, too. Uh, I think this is going to be not Daily special strongest performance, but uh, I think Isaac and Ben will carry us, and uh, I'll just try not to drop yet. Bro. I am so excited for this. I'm finally getting an opportunity to contribute to this quartet and be a part of something. This is awesome! Yeah! We got our eggs. We got our spoons. Dan, what is this? It's my spoon. Uh, that's a ladle. You can't use that. It's not regulation. What are you talking about? Look, spoon, soup. Section three. It's right there. 
your spoon. This All right, Xavier, you're gonna break. racing, but I feel good. I uh, got my connection. Focused on my connection with a friend. But yeah, like Chad said. Yes! You also beat my time. So. <laughs> <laughs> you want it? I thought you were so spicy with all this. As you go out into the hood, you got your hat in the front and you go to the other. That's it. That's it. You God. Well, it was Kai's to lose, and he didn't. And he didn't, he didn't lose, lose it. No, no, no. <laughs> I, boy, bases with the most consistently oh, stellar yeah. performance. I mean, uh, amazing. Apparently, bases are athletic or something. And George from Karma running. In I would ski probably boots. win from our quartet. So. Ski boots with a fried egg. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure the fried egg was super legal. That might. <laughs> yeah. Mm. However, let's let's take one last look at our final placements here. There we go. So we have a winner for episode two, the excellent race. Congratulations to Daily Special. You guys have won immunity for episode three. Now, you should still turn in your video. Please turn in those videos. Please soon, guys. I need to edit stuff. <laughs> But that you said, can you can't be that. eliminated with it. And uh, it's actually, if you look down at the bottom there, Ripple Effect had immunity this week. If Aristocrats oh. hadn't bowed out, that immunity might have come into play. Ooh, good point. Wow. It got real close down there at the bottom. But unfortunately... That's incredible. Apparently, Aristocrats had to uh, bow out because one of their members became a cabbage. So they are our eliminated quartet for come the on. week. Uh, this has been super, super, super fun. Uh, give us, Find us on YouTube. Give us a like and a subscribe. Like and follow the quartet on Facebook. All of that great stuff. If you are interested in sponsoring some prizes for a future episode, please do so. This whole show is being sponsored by Drew Wheaton, who is uh, providing learning tracks for our winner for the entire season, and Steve Tramack, who is going to be doing an arrangement for that same quartet so uh make sure to go like and follow those guys as well send them your business because they're both awesome any last thoughts before we head out for tonight guys just want to know if there's an episode three there sure oh. is an episode three it will oh, be thank up. goodness i know it's almost like we planned it or something it will be <laughs> every two weeks right two weeks from tonight at 8 p.m eastern tune in to see uh a whole bunch more barbershop. We are going to move away from the eggs and spoons and go back to singing. So Wednesday, September 9th, 8 p.m. Eastern, it is going to be Keeping It Barbershop. We are going to have the quartets. They are going to be doing music videos of very traditional barbershop tunes. We are going to be bouncing back and forth from singing to nonsense, and this week will be a singing week. And... While this week was objective and it, you didn't need to vote for anything because it was determined by how fast they ran, oh. mm. two weeks from now will be voted. So make sure to tune uh -huh. in and vote for your favorite quartet in a few weeks. And uh, once, yes, I vote once. <laughs> we'll talk about that again. Yeah, please, please vote. We'll once. talk about that later. <laughs> Thank you all so much for giving us your time this Wednesday night. And Steve, and... what was the answer to the the quiz that you just posted up there for the entire episode? Oh, of which part oh, was the yeah. fastest? Which oh. part do people think? Because we all know the bases won. 
Oh, okay, so let's see. Hold on, let me find the poll. Here we go. Which part people thought was going to be the fastest? Yep. Looks like people were betting evenly on tenors and leads. Nobody <laughs> believed in the bases. They should have. <laughs> Apparently Ooh. they should have because the bases definitely have the best average looking at this. Oh, yeah. All right, thank you all for tuning in so much. We will see you all in a couple of weeks. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye.